we are discussing renim operation in sql how the renim operation can be done and we shall explain this one with one proper example see list customer name loan number and amount by increasing the amount by 6% against loans having loan amount greater than or equal to 1 lakh that means i am supposed to display the customer name the loan number and increased amount where amount will be increased by 6% for those loans having got loan amount is greater than or equal to 1 lakh so that is the query in english so at first we shall have to decide that which schemas are going to be used here if we take the loan obviously you are getting the loan number and also we are getting this amount which amount has to be increased and then we are having this particular borrower which is containing the customer name and this is our respective loan number so here we are not going to perform any update on the database we are performing the list operation that means the output will be obtained only on the screen so how to write this particular query so that point is clear to us that we are going to use loan and borrower relation or the schema whatever it is so from borrower comma loan but here we are using the rename operation so we are writing borrower as b and loan as l so you know that in between borrower and loan rather in this case in between b and l the cartesian product will take place so in this way this two table will get related so there is the cartesian product will take place between b and l now what is this rename let us suppose we are having one table name which is a very long one while writing the query it is very difficult to write this full table name let us suppose we are having one table with the name accounts of the year 2004-2005 so that is a long table name so for the timing within the query we can do a renaming to a certain variable say a a stands for account so that's why throughout the query i can use a always remember this rename operation will rename the particular table to a certain name like here borrower has been renamed as b and loan has been renamed as l this renamed name is having a scope within the query only next time if i want to issue any other query on this borrower and loan i should not call it by b or l respectively i should be calling it and access accessing it as borrower and loan only so this renaming is confined the scope is confined within the query only so here we are having rename operation so borrower has been renamed as b and loan has been renamed as l so in the rest of the queries wherever i will be requiring to use the borrower i will be writing b and whenever i shall be using loan i shall be writing l so select customer name c name from b dot l no why you are doing this b dot l no because we know that in between borrower and loan the loan id is common the loan number is common so if you write to if you want to write l no so that will create one ambiguity so i must be mentioning explicitly whether it is l dot l no or b dot l no as in the condition we are writing this b dot l no is equal to l dot l no so here you can write either b dot l no or l dot l no both will create the same output both will, both will give the same listing and this particular output has been renamed to loan id so you see here also another rename operation is taking place what we are doing the renaming here we are doing the domain renaming we are doing the attribute renaming what we are doing the renaming here we are doing the tuple renaming amount into 1.06 as new amount so new amount heading will come this loan id will be coming because they have got renamed in the output what is the condition where b dot l no is equal to l dot l no and one another extra condition was there amount should be greater than 1 lakh so l dot amount is greater than equal to 1 lakh here amount is only available in the loan relation it is not available in the borrower so instead of writing l dot amount i could have also written only amount because that will not produce any ambiguity when the same attribute names are present between the participating relations here participating tables here then 
for those cases to resolve the ambiguity we should mention either the relation name dot or the relation to rename named dot in this way we shall be we shall be writing the query. So, I think the query is now clear to us. So, select customer name b dot lno as loan id. So, here we are doing the domain renaming amount start 1.06 as new amount. So, that is our domain renaming from borrower as b tuple renaming loan as l tuple renaming where b dot lno is equal to l dot lno one condition with the renamed names and l dot amount is greater than equal to 1 dot. So, in this way we can write this particular query in SQL. I think you are getting this idea. Thanks for watching this video.